We're revisiting the Nylon 66 again. My original video, I was cleaning up a, a gun for an old friend of mine, and we kind of took it apart and fired it. And there is, and I'll say this before we go any further, I was using videos from a guy, Louie Magoo or something, and the videos have been on YouTube for over six years on how to disassemble and reassemble one of these rifles. It is kind of tricky, and without some sort of guide, it's pretty difficult to get there. And this is how this, this gun came to me in pieces. Somebody asked me if I could reassemble it for him again. The fellow bought this gun 40 years ago and then decided about 10 years ago to clean it, uh, probably because it fired that long, 30 years, and then got dirty. And when he went to disassemble it, parts flew out all over and, and everything. So I told him I'd look at it. And, uh, and that's how it arrived, and all these pieces here. So we're going to take the major components out. Like I said, using that one guy's video as a guide, uh, I kind of got an idea, plus I got some experience with this. Now what, what this individual did is he drove pins out that don't need to be driven out, and he also took out, I'll zoom in, two of these screws. That's our first correction. There's a little square nut and a screw. These things go through the receiver. And the little square things go into these square holes here. This is some sort of reinforcement, because I believe this is a two-piece stock that's like kind of pressed together. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the squares back in here. And then on the opposite side, you have where you're screw goes. Oh, I'm sorry. On the opposite side, you have where the screw goes. Put the driver in. And get these two things tight. Alright, let me do the other one and we'll get back. Alright, so we have our two screws in. Now we started driving pins out. And you shouldn't do that. Um, because there's one pin, and that's why you go with the guide, it holds this plastic trigger guard in. Okay, and I believe that would be, let's zoom in. That would be the pin that goes in this little hole here. Okay. And really, to take the trigger guard off, you just could get any dirt or grime out of the bottom. Well, he drove these other pins out, and this particular one that's sticking out, I believe, controls the sear. Now, if you look down into the action, you'll see that there's, there's little flat springs and stuff, or little coil springs. You don't want to start taking this all apart. Um, you know, he took the trigger out, which the trigger should always stay in the gun. That pin and where the trigger goes, and there's a little spring in there somewhere, a coil spring that has to loop around this end, and I have to re-drive the pin through. So, I'm going to drive this pin through and make sure nothing else comes loose. But the only problem that I have is there's an extra pin, which I don't know where it comes from. So I'm going to go and tap this through and get it back together and then see where we're at. Okay, after about an hour and a half into this project, I had to basically totally disassemble the gun. And again, I'm not going to st stress how important the guy, Louis Magoo, has a three-part, four-part series on disassembling the Nylon 66. Watch the video. Without the video, I couldn't do this. Okay, I've got the gun to the point where the trigger guard's out, trigger's back in, safety's in. And now, this is going to be pretty simple. It's basically sticking the trigger guard back in. 
Now, if you ever have to disassemble one of these guns to clean it, you get to about this point with the barrel, the block, and that off. And right down in here where the bullet guide is and the inside receiver was covered in thick grime. The only reason you pull the trigger guard off is so that way you could flush out or spray out anything in there. Also, I removed the magazine tube, this here. And the reason I do that, if you look... Where is it? You start to get a little rust here. It's a good idea to take this out and then oil it and stick it back in. There's two grooves on this tube right here. And just this little horseshoe shaped thing sli you know, slides in and, and does it. Uh, locks it in. I'm sorry. Locks it in place. So I strongly suggest if you attempt working on these guns to go see that guy's video and study the hell out of it. Because uh, what I'm going to do now is just start like I'm going to oil this tube, put it back in, put the trigger guard back in, and then get ready to start uh, mounting the bolt and stuff, which is all pretty standard stuff. Okay, I'm going to finish cleaning this gun. But, you know, my recommendation is unless you study the video, really don't try to disassemble the internal mechanism on one of these rifles unless you watch that video and know exactly what you're doing. I mean, his tips are great. I mean, if I've done this 50, 60 times, took one of these guns totally apart and back together, yeah, I'd, I'd have it done. But like I said, there's a lot of, with me, there's a lot of fumbling, my handshakes, little pieces, springs. Uh, they're nice guns. But they do have to be taken down and given a thorough cleaning internally every now and again, like I said, every 30, 40 years. Uh, but it can be tricky and difficult. So now I'm going to try to get this back together and we'll take a look at this once I complete my task. Everything now is kind of straightforward. I think I did it in the other video. Um, I had trouble all the internal, when the guy pushed the pins out, all the springs in that where the sear and everything was and the disconnector everything was all screwed up I had to take it all out and fix it but I cleaned it and that so now I'm going to go put her back together and we'll see what we got when we're done okay three hours later I got the gun back together basically because the man took it apart partially I had to take all the internal parts out reset the springs and then redo it. Um, you don't want to do that. All you basically have to do is look at the different videos and that um, Louis Magoo, I guess, he's got a three-part series on disassembly, reassembly. Uh, it's probably the best video out there and I had to use it, study it, rewatch it to get this done. This is the second one of these guns I've taken apart. It's not easy. It's tricky. There are little techniques in that to get all the parts to go back together. Generally, like I said, if you get the cover off, the barrel off, and the bolt out, and just clean the area where it comes up, take out your magazine, you get build up in the area where the face of the bolt and the magazine uh, ends, the lifter and all that. Clean that out and that's about it. I do not recommend disassembling these rifles to any degree more than what's recommended because it is difficult and time consuming to get it all back together and working right again. They're a nifty gun, they're a neat gun. I cleaned my other buddies when I did a series of videos on it. It's almost a year ago. He's been shooting it regular and basically they don't need a lot of maintenance. Uh, but this gentleman bought this gun back in the late 60s, early 70s, and I guess it was the first time he took it apart to clean it 10 years ago, and the thing all just come undone on him, and he just left it alone. So, that's it. I'll do a video. I'm going to take this out and test fire it, so I'll have another video where I shoot this a little bit. And, uh, but that's about, that's my gun repair or gunsmithing take on uh, the nylon 66 again.